Welcome to MarcusG.TV. I am Chef Marcus Giuliano and I'm a chef on a mission. More like an entrepreneur on a mission. And my mission right now is the 50 top mistakes that restaurateurs make. And I've seen a lot of them, I've made a lot of them, and I'm gonna tell you how to correct them. I might not tell you how to correct them in this video. I'm gonna give you tidbits, but I can really work in depth with you and we can really correct a lot of these where your restaurant's more profitable, easy to run, your staff's happier, um, more people are walking your door. It's, it's so, it's stuff is so, <clears throat> this stuff is so profound and so simple, but I'm going to tell you later in, later on, why a lot of you aren't doing this. And there's a key to why a lot of you aren't doing this. There's a key to why a lot of you don't have time to do this. So, tip number 26. Offer a satisfaction guarantee for your food. Don't be afraid to put in your ads, if you do, a, if you do some kind of ad or on your website or wherever, 100% satisfaction guaranteed or your money back. And have some kind of policy where your staff knows where they have a certain amount. My staff has, at all times, $50 to comp anything without coming to a manager. They have the power to do that. If a customer doesn't like something, comp, done, finished. They don't like it. They say something, there's some hair in the food. Of course, you need the comp at that point. But I go to so many restaurants where I didn't like it, I didn't eat it, and I tell the server, I didn't like this. You know, it just wasn't what the menu said, or it wasn't this, or it wasn't that, or it's actually bad, or, you know. And they're just like, okay, don't tell the manager. They don't comp it and they give it to you. It's like, man, come on. Really? Satisfaction guarantee. It's your restaurant. It's your place. It's the customers. It's the guests. It's overall satisfaction. And it goes far beyond the food. I had an unfortunate incident a couple weeks ago here where a teacher, somebody from the school that I was a counselor in school when I went to school, he was here. I was at the table with him. I knew the people. And he was sitting there and he was drinking a lot, right? He was drinking a lot. He got drunk. He starts vomiting in the restaurant, profusely vomiting. We try to get him out the back door. Of course, he's vomiting as he's walking. He sits in the back room of my restaurant and just says, can't move. The guy can't move. I have an eight top back there with entrees coming out. It's just like, oh my gosh, what are we going to do? And I don't want to feed these people, you know, in front of this guy who's vomiting. And so we tried to get the table moved. We had got him out, got everything cleaned up, got the food to the table. It was eight people. They had eight entrees. They spent, you know... A lot of money. I ended up comping everybody who saw something that happened in my restaurant that night. If they saw it, I comped it. It's their overall experience. Of course, it wasn't my fault this guy was throwing up. It wasn't my fault at all, but it's my restaurant. It's my responsibility. I comped over $400 that night. And it's just, you know, it's just like, ouch, it hurts, but it's the right thing to do. You have to put a satisfaction guarantee on your food, products, services on their experience. They will never forget that I comp their food because of that. No other restaurant really would do that. And I spoke to other restaurateurs, they're like, I wouldn't do that, it's not your fault. It's not my fault, but it's my reputation, it's what they leave, it's their perception. It's, are they gonna come back? Are they gonna remember me as a restaurant that they had a terrible meal because the guy vomited? Or are they gonna remember me because I'm the unfortunate guy who, had, who comped their food and did the right thing and they insisted they were gonna pay and I said, I insist you not pay. You're not going to pay for the meal tonight. None of you are gonna pay for your meal tonight. Yeah, I, I feel bad taking money from you. You know, with all the money I do in sales, that night, 400 bucks was nothing, you know? It's a cost of doing business. I'd love it if the guy who vomited all over, who was drinking irresponsibly, would give me the 400 bucks. That would be key. But, you know, who knows? That might happen someday. But uh, I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. Take responsibility for your customers' overall satisfaction. Thanks for watching. So I've been running my restaurant Aroma Time for 10 years in the Hudson Valley. And I used to be one of those restaurant owners that was married to my business, couldn't leave. The restaurant wouldn't be open if I wasn't here. I didn't trust anybody. I turned everything around. I've been here 10 full years, like I've said. I've defeated all the odds. I opened up this fine dining restaurant, upscale restaurant, in a small, depressed community. Um, I've learned a lot. I've made a lot of mistakes. And that's how I can confidently say I can help you. I can switch that mindset. I can teach you. Uh, tips and techniques that I've learned by doing it myself and then masterminding with some of the top restaurateurs in the country and marketing geniuses. It's been a great 10 year run. I don't regret a single part of it. Now the thing is I work on my business. I don't work my business, which is a totally different thing. I can teach you how to do that. It's so simple with the tips and tools and techniques. Um, owning a restaurant can be a lot of fun and I want to show you how to have fun in your restaurant. So please, send me an email.